Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I want to talk about Kimberly A. Martin again, guys. I'm going to continue to break down this Kimberly A. Martin thing. In today's video, we got Kwame Brown coming out. and He has some things to say about it as well. But before I highlight what Kwame Brown had to say, let me highlight the clip again, just in case for you guys that have missed that. Parody, Tua Tonga Valoa, Jared Goff, and really, Dak Prescott. Hmm. These are game managers. They're, they're not difference makers. When you say game manager, I'm not asking you to go out and win the game. I'm just asking you not to lose. Not to lose the game. Exactly. That's, listen, I don't give a damn what you do. You don't have to score every time. You just don't have to throw a pick every time either. If we're going to really call a spade a spade, there's a difference between managers of the game and difference makers of a game. Mm. Like, give me a break. I'm just so, like, honestly, like, move past the outfit for a second. Um, <laughs> he literally said, in the year of 2023, where it's all about NFL backups, where is Cam? Ooh. Not on an NFL roster, right? Oh, but man. So he's talking about all these NFL game managers. He sounds like the people literally tweeting at me from their basement, like, get back in the kitchen. Like, it's like, you are at home watching me. Like, like just, just. Just turn the TV off. Probably like, in the kitchen. <laughs> like, it, it <laughs> just sounds so crazy. foolish. Okay, Kimberly A. Martin got personal with Cam Newton, and Kwame Brown reacted to that. So let's check out what Kwame Brown had to say, man. Here's a video. Be sure to hit that like button for me if you haven't already. That helps this YouTube channel continue to grow. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Stay up to date with all of my current YouTube videos. Peace. What's up with the personal attacks on Cam Newton? Do y'all see how freely they can just disrespect the black man? Just imagine a black man sitting on TV and just because a woman said something that you don't agree with, they just start talking about her dress and her clothes. <laughs> the first thing this woman said about Cam Newton's opinion is let's get past his clothes. Second thing she said was, it's 2023, the year of the backups. Are you on a team? Where have y'all ever heard them challenge <laughs> them white boys like that? Matt Leinart after he was done playing. Ryan Leaf. What, 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 why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? So... By her logic, he has to be playing the game in order to give an opinion. Well, I don't think I'm the smartest guy in the world, but I think I'm pretty logical. Ma'am, you've never played the game at all. Cam Newton, at least at one point in time, he was this thing that he mentioned. He said that there's a difference between game managers and game changers. And then he gave his opinion on who was and wasn't the thing that he was talking about. Now, he probably made mention of a quarterback or two that you like. But to get personal like that on national television over a guy like Cam Newton, somebody with his resume. So he must have pissed off some white folks down at the network because they handed some Negroes some paperwork. They handed some Negroes some paperwork and told them what to say. So they got old bubble lip channel boy and they got this woman, Kimberly, just to personal, personally attack this man. The most ironic thing I saw... Because, first of all, I think that woman was disgusting for doing that. That was disgusting. That was ignorant. That didn't even make any sense. You never played football. And you want people to respect your opinion as a woman talking about a man's sport. So you should never attack somebody personally. That comment was foolish. And then you, and then you got the guy that was actually on the panel who acted like he didn't agree. But then he said, there's one little smidge in the truth. And then this pretty much said the exact same thing Cam Newton said. None of those players to me are game managers. Now, here's the controversial part. Here's the little hint of truth in what he's saying 
is that I, I always think about quarterbacks in the NFL like cooks versus chefs. Mm -hmm. uh, a cook is someone who uh, executes established recipes, whereas a chef is someone you can just roll out there. Aaron Rodgers is a chef. You don't really need a fully baked out offense for Aaron Rodgers. He can go out there, figure it out because he has such an offensive field. There are very, very few quarterbacks like that. But he had to remix it so he could swallow it. Pause. He had to remix it and turn it into his own thing. Cam Newton said it's between a game manager and somebody who's a difference maker. Identifying the difference between a game manager and a game changer. Game manager is not a negative connotation. Cam, what do you mean by game manager? My definition of that managing player is a player who has the ability to make the right play at the right time, protecting the football at all. When I think about ultimate elite game managers, Peyton Manning, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, game changer and game manager is not something where I'm saying this person is not physically capable of making some great plays. I'm not saying that. Or I am not saying that they're not good players. There's really only three to potentially five game changers in the NFL right now. Aaron Rodgers, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes. This guy had to remix it to a cook versus a chef. And then he goes on to say the exact thing Cam Newton said. I'm telling y'all, these people on these networks, they don't have originality. They don't even have a backbone because they're being told what to say. I'm so tired of these phony people. Don't you know we can hear you? We can hear you. We see you. is a shame try to take away a man's opinion talking about how good he is now and all this other shit. when y'all sit up there across from skip baylor's and got that well i ain't gonna say his name and stephen a smith the hell wrong with y'all you gonna use the same tactic on your brother man that that white boy used on you and that's your argument because he's not as good as he once was. But guess what? Cam Newton once was that guy that he's speaking of. He was definitely a game changer. Okay, that's what Kwame Brown had to say. Keep in mind, guys, I did break it down into little bits and pieces. So I suggest you guys go over to Kwame Brown's YouTube channel. Check out the full video. I'll have it linked down below. Go over there, click the like button, and subscribe up over there, man. And yeah, man, I just want to give my opinion real quick before I wrap the video up. I like what Kwame Brown had to say about it, especially calling out the other co-hosts on that show, agreeing with Kimberly A. Martin. And then you got the guys taking bits from Cam Newton, saying the same thing that Cam Newton was saying, but all he did was just switch the words up. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, these people on ESPN, they don't know what they're doing, bro. And Kwame Brown made a point on his YouTube channel. Again, you got to go watch the full video. But Kwame Brown was talking about how they are taking bits from YouTubers and then they'll just go on ESPN, repeat stuff, supposed to be disagreeing with the topic or the person that they're calling out. But in the same breath, they're agreeing with the person. But the only thing that they're doing is just switching out the words. You know what I mean? So it's stuff like that that you got to look out for on ESPN. They definitely do that a lot. I've seen it myself. I've seen them take from other channels like Ticket TV, FYF, Sports Debates. Kwame Brown, hell, even my channel. I remember specific stuff that they took from my channel, but that's a whole nother topic for another day. I'm really not going to get into that, man, because I just want to give you guys Kwame Brown's reaction to Kimberly A. Martin personally attacking Cam Newton, and I would like to hear you guys' feedback as well on that. So y'all get in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you made this far in the video. Don't forget to subscribe up as well. I'll catch you guys on the next video, and we out, guys. Peace.